What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shay McCray, here at the Sheen Magazine 2018 Kimmy Awards Weekend, hosted by Miss Kimberly Chapman and Miss Sammy Hayes. We have so many amazing guests that will be here this evening, so you guys, please keep it locked. Don't go nowhere. Interviews coming soon. What's up, everybody? I'm here on the red carpet with this beautiful ballerina. How are you doing, Gorgia? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm great. You look amazing. Um, why don't you tell us your name and what what, what are you going to be performing this evening? Um, I'm Jewel Ellis, and tonight I will be performing the Harlequinade Variation. Um, it's just a small little excerpt from a ballet, but I'm excited to do it. <laughs> okay, awesome. How long have you been dancing? Um, I've been dancing for about 15 years, so yeah, I'm 17, so 15. Wow, that is amazing. Why don't you tell the people how we can keep up with you? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Jewel underscore ballerina, and I'm also on Facebook as well at Jewel Ellis. All right, well, good luck out there. I'll be rooting for you, okay? I just You just got to teach me how to stand on my toes, that's all. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shay McCray, here on the red carpet, of course, with someone who is being honored this evening, Mr. Rotimi. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Just ha so happy to see you. Thank you. Happy to see you, too. Thank you. Now, let me ask you a question. What What would you say has been as your biggest um, ch career challenges thus far? Um, the biggest career challenge is to continue just to literally, you know, believe in yourself. You know, honestly, as an artist, man, you hear so many no's and so many you can't do it and all that. So... The hardest thing is to stay positive, you know, but when you have God and when you have a good foundation, like you're good, but we're all human. So having that and just being being true to the craft and, and, and being good to yourself. I sure. totally agree. What would what would be what the advice would you give to your 12 year old self? I, to my 12 year old self? <laughs> I say uh, pick up more books, put, put the Pokemon down. And literally just focus on who you are, man. Pick up an instrument and, and honestly just always start trusting your intuition at 12. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shay McCray, here at the 2018 Kimmy Awards, and I'm on the red carpet with Mr. A.J. Crimson, a beauty innovator, what I would say. That's what I would call you. How are you? I'm doing really great. I'm excited to be here. This is my first Kimmy Award, so um, I'm happy. I'm excited. Yes. Now, with Sheen being, um, it's like they they like promote beauty. Yes. Uh, that's what they. What last impression would you say you would want to make on the beauty industry? Wow. What's the lasting impression that I would want to make on the beauty industry? I would say, um, you know, honestly, I want people to just do, and I want people to uh, to not to not ask what if. I want you to try everything, and I want you to step out and explore options because that's what beauty is about. It's about op it's about options and and the opportunity to kind of create and make anything, right? Absolutely, I totally agree. Well, we appreciate you being here, and we appreciate you just for everything that you're giving back to the beauty industry. I appreciate that. Thank you. This your girl Shay McCray here. We are here on the red carpet with another opening act, Miss Jazz. How you doing, beautiful? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you're going to be singing. What will you be singing yes. today? I'm singing to me. It's officially missing you. One of my favorite songs ever. Okay. Awesome. Well, how how long how long you been singing? Since I was talking, honestly, <laughs> I was I was talking. I was singing, singing before I was talking. Just yeah. Okay. So how did it make you feel when they asked you to just open up for so many legends today? Listen, I was honored. Honestly, I could not believe. I'm like me. Y'all want me to sing for y'all, so I was honored. I'm excited. I, I hope I, I won't kill it. Yeah. Okay. After you leave to the, here today, how can we keep up with you? So make sure you guys are following me on all social media platforms at underscore jazz music. That's J A S M U S I C. All right, y'all heard it here first. It's your girl Shay McCray. What's up, everybody? We of course on the red car carpet with another honoree for this evening, Mr. Quay. What's up, Quay? What's up, girl? How you doing? I'm doing great. I am so happy to see you and see that you're being honored this oh, evening. How you feel? It feels so good. <laughs> the energy is already electric. I'm so, so, so psyched. I see all my people out here, black people. I'm excited. You know, <laughs> it's lit. It's lit. So let me ask you, what was like um, the biggest? Um, Woo, risk that you have taken as being a social media icon on with those videos. What's the biggest risk you've taken? Hell, the biggest risk was <laughs> putting on pink lipstick. <laughs> it was like, uh, yeah, all outside the line. I still to this day, two years later, still don't know how to put lipstick on. Yeah, I mean, you know, you never know what to expect when you're doing something totally different and it's totally outside of my box. I never imagined freaking putting on a wig and 
I did it, and here I am today. Yeah. You are again. Um, I mean, being honored, um, yeah. iconically, um, BT. Mm -hmm. Here we are, Sheen mm -hmm. Magazine. Phew, Ooh. you're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> only the only hard part is stuck in my stomach. In you know, it's like, right. listen, we still struggle with that, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much you for being here. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm here on the red carpet with another performer who performed during this Kimmy Awards weekend last night, Mr. Keith Stewart. How you doing? I'm feeling great. That's good. That's good. Just great. How you feeling tonight? I'm doing amazing. Can't can't help it. I'm mean, just blessed to be here. 12 years for the Kimmy Awards and the foundation is great. To be yes. part of it. Now, um, I hear that you've been doing some writing and stuff behind other people's career. What would you say the biggest challenge is for your career? Uh. Uh, because the music that I've written for Chris Brown and all those different people, you want to have your own sound and you want people to recognize you for your sound. So that's the biggest challenge, being uh, creatively different because I'm giving out my creativity to other artists. That, that is, that's actually, um, that's a real big challenge, I must say. And then coming out and here you are at the forefront. I right. appreciate that's it. That, that's, <laughs> not, that's me. You know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what's up. Well, we thank you for being here and uh, we look forward to seeing more from you thank in the you. future. Thanks for having me. We're here on the red carpet with the beautiful Miss Natural and here in health. Hmm, you know we gotta know what we gotta understand what this means here. Okay, why don't you tell us your name and what this represents? My name is Jessica Alexander and the Natural Hair and Health Expo Beauty Pageant is really just a huge focus on natural hair community health and just really promoting it and just embracing women who choose to embrace their natural coils. Wow, that's amazing. Now, let me ask you this. Um, what are some of the challenges you faced in this industry as a beauty, um, you know, represent, you know, you represent beauty as a woman in this industry? Well, I know, especially being a natural hair woman, I know that sometimes, especially in the past, I was really insecure about just really embracing it. But over the years, just really gaining the, the, the confidence in myself just to love myself and love my hair as it grows out of my scalp. And best decision I ever made was chopping it all off a few years ago. Wow, that's what's up. What would you tell your 12-year-old self? I would tell my 12-year-old self, just love yourself, girl, and you're going to be okay. You're going to do some great things. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all heard it here first. This your girl, Shay McRae. What's up, everybody? Of course, I'm on the red carpet again with the beautiful Miss Money Sutton. How you doing? I am doing great, girl. Excited to be here. Yes, okay. You hosted the red, um, red and white um, party last yeah, night? Yeah, I hosted the red party last night. We had so many great, amazing performances. The girls won. Look, Daryl's going to be very mad at me. But, yeah, we had a great time. That's awesome. Now, we're here to honor those who are, like, um, in, their, in their profession, okay? Legends, should we say, okay? Why do you feel like it's important for us to honor those who are working in their profession? Because I feel like these people have really been grinding. They've really been doing their thing. And most of all, Sheen finds people who gives back. And that's what I do, you know. So that's one reason why I support them. I'm here. And, you know, I love what they're doing. I love the passion. All right. Well, it's always great to see you, of course, looking great as well. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm here on the red carpet with the founder of Runway for Peace. I love the name alone. Without even asking any more questions, how are you doing? Grading yourself. Why don't you go to tell us your name? My name is Danika Turner Stevens. Okay, and tell me what is Runway for Peace about? Runway for Peace is a nonprofit organization based in the city of Compton to raise awareness for the Stop the Violence Cause through fashion events. Awesome. Let me ask you, why did you feel like this was an important organization to come out with? Because there has been a lot of killings in our community, and my niece was personally affected by it, but she survived, and that's. I just wanted to reach out to the youth. Oh, that is amazing. I love the cause. I thank you. If anyone wants to volunteer for the cause, where would they reach out? Runway for Peace at Yahoo.com, or you can follow us on Instagram at Runway for Peace. All right. Well, thank you so much for giving back. We appreciate it. Thank you. We're on the red carpet with, of course, another inspirational artist, Mr. Lawrence Flowers. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I know you're getting tired of answering that question for this email, but that's going to be the main question that they ask you. I'm just letting you know, okay? Okay. <laughs> so you got to say, I'm doing amazing. I'm doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Listen, so you're um, an inspirational artist, and now I, I, um, gospel is my favorite um, genre of music. It is. Wow. What would you say your biggest challenge is, you know, with um, R&B and, you know, the way of the world, everybody's doing trap, R&B, um, want to be, you know, sing, whatever it is that they're doing. You came out and you stepped out on faith doing inspirational music. What would you say your biggest challenges of your career have been thus far? Um, I guess just trying to get people to understand that just as fly, just as 
awesome and as great as the trap and the R&B and everything and pop is, gospel is that too. You know, and even though we're talking about God and talking about inspiration and, and talking about living a better life, it's not necessarily something that you have to take the fun away from it. You know, we have fun doing what we do. And we had a little trap and a little, you know, <laughs> pop to it too. So, Listen, I work out to gospel. Who are the beautiful ladies next to you? These are actually two of the beautiful young ladies of LFI, Joy and also Jasmine. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for being here. Will you be performing this evening? Yes, we will. We'll be opening the show. What are you performing? We're going to be singing Light. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. I'm here with Miss three-time nominee, Miss Charlene Brown. She's here from all the way from D.C. doing her thing in the, in the hair industry. How are you doing, beautiful? I'm doing well. I'm blessed, honored to be here today. Okay, so let me ask you a question. And it, with the the, the the you know the industry being saturated with everybody doing hair now, because beauty is important right now, um, what was what would make you different in the industry? What makes me different is I do a lot of community work, charity work for hairstyling, for fashion shows, for a great cause, and it's normally plugged in with a celebrity or news anchor. <laughs> so that's how I get my exposure in the DMV area and outside. New York Fashion Week, LA Fashion Week, et cetera. Well, you know what? The first line you said first made set you apart from many others, and that's giving back. It is very important to give back, so we appreciate you for that, and we see why you're here three times. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, thank you. Hey, this your girl, Shay McCray, here, standing on the red carpet with Mr. McBride Jr. How are you? I am doing well today. How about yourself? And, of course, the third. Hi. He's like, I ain't, I ain't prepared no, to say nothing. Yet. So you're here with Design Sent You as yes. well, from Design Sent You. I mean, with so many hair care products in the world, what sets Design Sent You out from the rest? Um, I'd like to say that we're a family of families. We've been around for over 40 years in this business, and everything about our organization is um, family. So beyond the family, the McBride family, we have other families that's been with us for over 20 years. You know, so people have kids come in, into our organization, they grow up in the organization. Well, I hear Design Sent You got a new product online. What can we expect from Design Sent You to come coming out this year? Of course, um, a couple of things are taking place. One, there are a lot of conversation around natural and uh, natural hair, but when you talk about natural hair, it's more than just curl definition. You have people, a community that do straight natural. So straight natural is very important, and we have a collection of agave and lavender. It's designed for straight natural um, customers, and then also we believe that you treat your um, skin like scalp. So part of growing your hair is taking care of your scalp. And a lot of people don't treat the skin like scalp. So we have a, uh, what we call our scalp and skin collection. It's designed to actually nourish and treat the skin like the scalp like skin. Wow, that is actually new for design. I haven't heard that one, but I'll definitely be on the lookout because I'm a fan of Design and Sent You. So thank you so much for being here. Right, thank you. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shay McCray, here on the red carpet with the beautiful Miss Jaleese Janice Shelton. How are you doing? I'm good, girl. Amazing. How are you? You're looking absolutely beautiful yourself, honey. Well, thank you. I listen. I listen. You know, you listen. Stand next to this. You got to look good, you know? <laughs> So we're here. You're presenting this evening, right? Yes. Okay. What award would you be presenting this evening? You know, it's a surprise. So we're going to get out there and see. Sammy said he has something special in store for me tonight. So we're going to see exactly what that special in story is. Okay. <laughs> so the Kimmy Awards, right, is here to um, actually honor those who are legends in their profession. Why do you feel is this important for us to honor those who are doing great things in the community? You know, I think that is so important because philanthropy is so amazing and it's something that's so needed. And by being a philanthropist, my own self, having my own foundation, our Children's Keeper, I truly believe in the mission of giving back. You know, it teach one to know one what God has blessed you with. He can also take it away. So you have to make sure that you restore and give back and take care of your community. All right. What what, what we have coming up this year for? Um so we have our gala that's coming up November 3rd. That's our Children's Keeper, supporting and honoring all of our survivors who came through sex trafficking. Then we also have my real estate business that I just opened up, Genesis Real Estate, a realty group. And 40% of all of my proceeds go back to my foundation. Awesome. Well, I thank you so much for doing so many amazing things in the community and just bringing awareness to just our children. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm here on the red carpet with Mr. Quentin Fears, a fashion stylist, who's actually nominated uh, Fashion Stylist of the Year. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm feeling really good. It's nice to be, you know, honored. Absolutely. Let me ask. Nominated. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me ask you, what would you say would be your biggest challenges of your career as a fashion stylist? The biggest challenge is always finding new work. You know, sometimes it doesn't always come in, but you create your own stuff. And that's kind of how I fell in with working with Sheen. Um, I submitted an editorial spread that they loved, they published. And then the next time they asked me if I wanted to style, style a cover. 
So I got to style the cover with Keisha Sharp and an inside spread with Nala Wayans. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. And um, let me tell you, I